When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, communities celebrate. Awqaf South Africa, a charitable waqaf receiving organization makes it easy to share the care. All donations are plowed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a great variety of charitable causes. Visit the Awqaf South Africa website at awqafsa.org.za to discover how your waqaf can bless our community with the legacy of care. Awqaf South Africa, share the care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and good evening to one and all. My name is Hassanayn Abdullah. I'm from Okaf, South Africa. And we're going to share some information about the exciting up and coming uh, Okaf is a online maths workshop hosted by Okaf in collaboration with uh, Kway uh, Maths as well as iSkill. So Okaf South Africa is a charitable endowment organization. We're involved in lots of um, uh, fun, um, fun-packed um, uh, projects to benefit the, uh, our communities. Some of the projects include uh, boreholes, youth leadership workshops. We do lots of cataract operations, cat cataract removal operations. We uh, produce a series of books under the Leaders and Legacy series. And more importantly, we've got a flagship uh, project under our education uh, focus area, and that's the Mass Upgrade pro uh, Project. So since 2016, we have been going to the four corners of South Africa, Cape Town, KwaZulu-Natal, Johannesburg, um, to upskill um, uh, learners, especially in grade 12 um, standards, to improve the uh, maths literacy um, and, and also the, the grade of, 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 of uh, mathematics. And some of these uh, programs, we have found that some of the learners have been able to improve their grades to such an extent that they've been able to enter into university. So during the course of the year in August, we had a workshop in August um, with Mr. Kota. We have lots of fun. Uh, it was a workshop to prepare learners for the prelim examination. We have lots of fun. It was a workshop on Saturday and on a Sunday. We did Maths Paper 1 on the Saturday and Maths Paper 2 on, uh, on the Sunday. Uh, we had an overwhelming success. We had about 13,000 registrations. Um, and uh, this was really a, a motivating factor. And afterwards, after the workshop, we saw that some of the videos, some of the videos like Maths Paper 1 got about 25,000. Um, views because lots of the learners were watching, sharing it with their friends and were, were going back to um, the videos to watch them and, and, and uh, from the feedback that we got kind of gauged that, that uh, these workshops uh, or this workshop that we had in August had um, some positive feedback, it really contributed to the success of learners performing very well. Uh, the, uh, the workshop was conducted in a very novel and, and fun kind of a way. Um, you'll see we'll bring Mr. Kota on. You'll also see that he's got really a fun vibe. So this video we'll be sharing a little bit more information about um, this workshop. It'll be taking place on the 29th and the 30th of October. There's the flyer on screen. So Saturday the 29th of October from 9 until 2.30 we'll be doing Mass Paper 1 and the Sunday the 30th of October 2022, from 9 until 2.30, we will do uh, Maths Paper 2. Online registration is essential. You need to log on to the OCAF ESA's website, okafisa.org.za. There is a page called Maths Final 2022. Uh, you log on there. All the information is on there. You have to register in order to receive the links for, um, for the two sessions. The session will take place via YouTube. So that's enough speaking from my side. Let's bring on Mr. Kota so he can tell us what we can expect for um, this final mass workshop. But before we do that, let's play this. 40 minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go for ready to start. 2, 1, 0. 
booster ignition and liftoff of Always ready, always ready in the captain's seat. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing? Are you well? Alhamdulillah. Can't complain. Different environment. Different environment and all uh, getting energized and ready for the final launch and the takeoff on the 29th and 30th of October, inshallah. That's it. We're giving it all. We're giving all the rocket fuel to our great club learners. We want them to be a success and I think they've been working very hard. I mean, so we want to give all to the course and I think that is the course. So Mr. Kota, tell us what can we look forward to to the workshop? Let me just bring that flyer on there so people Our can see. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's the online workshop. And uh, as we all know, Alhamdulillah, we set the record for the highest uh, number of uh, attendees on a live workshop, mathematics workshop in our phase one. And now for our phase two, remember, we did basic to intermediate in phase one. We showed them all the basic skills. We took them up to immediate. And on the 29th and 30th, we're going full steam, taking them into a higher order questions. Now, remember, we also advertising. We've got we, we've got two programs, one running also on the 15th and 16th. But remember, for those people who are a bit confused, just to clear up the air, the content is absolutely different. The 15th and 16th content and the 29th and 30th content is absolutely different. And the 29th and 30th, we are now pumping full on. We have one week end before your final exams. And this is going to be your final thrust to get you over the edge into out of space, ready for your final sitting on the 4th of November. So tell me, Mr. Kota, what are you going to be handling in Maths Paper 1? Let's we're covering all the topics. In we, in fact, we're starting with the higher, all higher order questions, sequences, and series. We're doing functions. We're doing calculus. All application. I'm not teaching basic skills anymore. Only the application into the higher order. The questions that allow learners to get them from their 70 to their 100 percent. So we're doing probability. We're doing everything. All the topics for paper one on the Saturday. All the paper. Um, all the topics for paper two on the Sunday. Uh, look, paper one content sometimes might carry on over into the Sunday morning, which uh, we allowed. But within the two days, we will complete the entire full exam preparation for the trick. Now, this is not only for DBE learners. So this is for IEB, Sakai, uh, who is uh, our homeschoolers, as well as learners internationally who is doing the South African CAP syllabus. We're covering for them as well. Tell me, Mr. Kota, what is required of the learners for the benefit of those that have not attended the, the previous sessions? What is they, required in terms of the tools of the training? They must know their basics. They've got to know their formulas. They can keep a formula sheet with them. As long as they know their basics, I will teach them how to apply to all the different styles uh, from intermediate to advanced. Um, they also need a scientific calculator, the Casio calculator. Hopefully, if they've got the silver one, if they don't have it, they can use the black calculator, the FX991 or the F FX81 ES or the ES Plus or the 991 Plus. And obviously, they're stationary and a lot of um, uh, uh, energy, a lot of hydration, let's put it that way, for the two days. It's going to be, uh, we, we, we're taking them to another level. Okay, and also remind, we need to remind our participants that have registered, please do register. You need to log on to the OCAF website, okafsa.org.za, in order to register. When you do register, you will receive the links for the two sessions. The session will be live streamed to OCAF SA's YouTube and Facebook page. So there we go, that's the web address, okafsa.org.za. You need to register in order to receive the links. If you have any queries, you can email me, hustlein at okafsa.org.za. And I think, uh, Mr. Kota, the one thing that was very encouraging the last time, that we do know that certain learners are challenged in that they do not have internet at home. So lots of the schools have been getting the learners together and they've been beaming it from the classrooms. Uh, so the teachers out there, Please um, let us all work together to provide the necessary resources for our learners. 
and to bridge that digital divide. And also, please bear in mind that these videos will always be online. We will never remove it. So if you do register, you do have the link. That link, that video will always be up there. You can always refer back to it. Perhaps maybe Mr. Kota, next year some of our current grade 12, they can pass this on to the siblings or their family. Yes, 100%. And look, every year we've got different content. The content changes every year in terms of style and the levels of questions. So every show that we have, every show that we present, every workshop that we have will have brand new content all the time. So we're encouraging all the learners across South Africa to please join us on the 29th and 30th. Remember, uh, it is a free workshop, but you have to register on the OCAF website. And then obviously the video will be play, uh, put onto YouTube for you to um, work through the entire week. Uh, it's a very exciting time. Uh, it's actually a countdown. I hope on your website you're going to have a, a, a time or countdown to the number of days before our workshop just to create the whole atmosphere and the whole vibe across the country. Um, WhatsApps are pouring into our um, on our social media handles as well. When is the final workshop for OCAF? When is the final workshop for OCAF? So here it is, guys. We finally put out the date. Uh, yeah, buckle up, sit up and get ready for the launch. Here we go. It's the launch. And as we and, and the session is a very interactive session. Mr. Kota presents his module or his lesson. And if you have a question, you can use the comment section to give us feedback, give us your answer, interact. It's a two-way, it's a two-way uh, conversation. And we really uh, appreciate the vibe um, that the learners bring. Uh, besides uh, Mr. Kota and his, um, his vibe that he brings. He's going to be bringing the peers. You also need to meet us halfway, register on time, tell your friends. And uh, yeah, any final words there, Mr. Kota? Yes, we look, I'm looking forward to meeting everybody, whoever was online. I also want to just thank everybody for all the positive feedback that they gave us on our last platform, um, in our last workshop. Looking forward to meeting all of you. Please spread the word, get the whole country. I'm hoping that we can get over 100,000 uh, grade 12. So everybody uses the same strategy in the final exam and we can gear everybody up. And we're looking for... Uh, uh, good results. Also, uh, we'd like all the learners afterwards, after they write their exams, to also give um, OCA feedback, give us feedback at the Kway Institute as to what, uh, how or where they were before the workshops and after the workshops, uh, how did they perform in their exams. So good luck and looking forward to meeting you all. So another point to mention is that uh, we are running a uh, competition Right. So some of this information will be posted out on the OCAF website. Some of the learners have received the emails today. So we are hosting a competition as part of um, this online workshop. We want to gauge how well some of learners have, have done. So this competition is going to award um, for the top performance. Uh, there's about two or three categories, first place, second place, third place as well as the most improved. These are cash prizes. And we are going to give learners an opportunity to post results, um, how they fit in July, as, um, and, and as well as load up the final results once they do receive these results. So we'll also be sharing some information in due course about that and during the workshop. And you must bear in mind that these results, we would need these, uh, these, uh, the final results when they do become available. Mr. Koto, any indication when the final grade 12 results will be released? Will that be in the new year? Uh, usually only towards the end of December, early January. Uh, that's when the matrix will get their results. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting uh, to getting feedback from all the learners. And please let us know if you got your distinction. We want to know. Even if you got a B, even if you, if you got 75 and above, let us know. Even if you were failing and you just managed to get a 60%, let us know. We want your feedback. It's just going to boost us, give us more fuel to try even harder and to do even more programming for you for 2023. So there you have it. Um... That's a brief 
info session uh, between uh, um, OCAF South Africa and Cairo and Max. So um, save the date. Uh, Mets Paper 1 will be workshopping on the 29th of October. Uh, Mets Paper 2 will be doing it the Sunday, the 30th of October. If you are in grade 12, sign up for this workshop. If you've got a child, grandchild, nephew, uh, cousin, sibling, person living in your, in your road uh, that, that's writing mathematics, your maths this year, this is certainly a workshop that they have to attend. Online registration is essential on the OCAP essays website. So there's it. So we'll have another uh, session again with myself and Mr. Kota. So that's it from us. And we'll see you on the other side, um, perhaps during uh, our next workshop. So I thank you for, for joining us. When we take care of each other, wonderful things happen. Children thrive, the elderly rejoice, communities celebrate. Awqaf South Africa, a charitable Waqaf receiving organization makes it easy to share the care. All donations are plowed into Sharia compliant investments, while the fruits support a great variety of charitable causes. Visit the Awqaf South Africa website at awqafsa.org.za to discover how your wakaf can bless our community with the legacy of care. Awqaf South